Hello everyone, in this video we write a function to compute the percentage change. So let's say that we observe uh, these values for these years and we want to compute the percentage change across the years. The percentage change formula is the following new amount minus original amount divided original amount times 100. Let's implement manually. This formula can be, can be written as follows. New amount divided original amount minus 1 times 100. So let's run again. And in the, in the function, we are going to use this for the formula written like this. So let's store these values in a vector. Now, Let's consider the index. So let's focus on this formula by considering the index. What I mean? 10 is stored at the index 1. 13 is stored at the index 2. And so on. So let's say that we called the variable for the denominator i. This means that the variable for the numerator becomes i plus 1. So let's see. Let's say that i is 1. So when i is 1, we are here, and the numerator is i, that is 1, plus 1, it's 2. So we are working with these two numbers. When i is 2, the numerator is 2 plus 1. So it's 3. So this means that we are working with these two numbers, and so on. So we are going to use this fact to run uh, the loop. So let's start by writing this function with a loop. We call the function uh, pair underscore change. The function takes two arguments, x, a vector, and mean. This value is set uh, by default on false. This means that if we want to compute the mean, of the percentage change, we need to set mean equal true when we use the function. Now, the first step here is to initialize uh, the object that will store the result. Note here that this vector has five numbers, but we have only four percentage changes. This is because we don't have the value uh, previous to year one. So here, when we initialize the object, we set numeric length of the vector minus one. So in this case, when we, we use this vector s, the length will be five minus one four. So this rest object will be made up of four zeros. And we will overwrite this for, for zeros each time the loop uh, runs. For example, here, for i in this sequence, from 1 to 4, in this case, length of s minus 1, so 5 minus 1, 4, res is 1. So we are, we are overwriting the, uh, the index at uh, the first index. And this is the formula. As we said before, in the denominator is i. So uh, this, is, this is s, the first index in the vector s, for example, when we are going to use the vector s. And in the denominator is i plus 1. And this is the rest of the formula. If mean equal true, we compute the mean of this rest object. Finally, we return the, the rest object. So let's run. And let's uh, test with the S object. And as you can see, we obtain the same results. Now let's try with mean equal true. And this is the mean. Now, as you know, in R, 
we can avoid uh, we can avoid the loops and this is one of these cases let's write the function and we call this pair underscore change to now let me show again here the formula as you notice here in the denominator we have 10 13 14 11 so we have this part here we just miss the last value on the other hand in the numerator we have 13 14 11 15 so this means that we have this part of the vector we don't have the first element so basically what i'm going to do now is just select for the numerator from 2 to the length of the vector itself so in this case this will be for the numerator, this selection. And for the denominator, I just remove the last, uh, the last value. Then I divided numerator, denominator, minus 1 times 100. And the rest is the same. So let's run. And let's test. And as you can see, we got the same result. Let's test also for the mean. Now, let's check if this second function is more efficient. I'm generating this uh, bigger S object. And now, let's test. First with the loop, and now without loop. And as you can see, this is much faster. Now, what I want to do now is to modify this function so that it can work uh, with data frame. So let's restore the S object. Let's set a data, a data frame. So we have year and year I called revenue. Now, if we use the pair underscore change to function with DF revenue, as you can see, this works. But what is the issue? If we want to attach the results here to the data frame, we cannot do this automatically because as you can see the data frame has five rows but here we have only four elements so what i want to do is to add a missing value for the first year so basically here the code is the same i change here so i rename i overwrite res as the concatenation of a missing value with the rest object itself. Then we have to also modify here in the mean because now we have a missing value. So we want to remove the missing value. No. Let's run and let's test it. As you can see now, I, I'm going to attach the result in this column called growth underscore rate in the DF data frame. And this is the result. Naturally, this works for a vector as well, but now we have the missing value for the first period. Let's check for the mean. And as you can see now, we have this column with the mean. Now, last modification until now we can compute the the percentage change only with the uh, with the period before with just one period before what about if we want to compute the percentage change with the two period four period 12 periods before so i want to make this modification as you can see now in this new function i add an additional argument lag equal one so by default, this uh, lag is set to 1. Let me show here. 
as you can see here the numerator was uh, a, a subset from 2 to the length of x now we are setting 1 plus lag to the length of x when a lag is 1 this means that this is 2 so we are in the same case as the previous function but if we set lag equal to this will be 3 so as you can see we are moving one value forward what we have also to modify is the denominator in this case i'm changing function i'm using head the head function x in this case i'm using a negative value here so we use head to remove the last entries from the vector again if lag is one we remove only the last entry so we are in the same case as here as the previous function if this is two we remove the two last entries and so on the rest here is the same but when we uh, re rewrite the rest object as you can see i replicated the missing value as many times as the value in lag let's run and let's test it now the default value of lag is one so we should get the same result as before and as you can see we got the same result here so now let's test with uh, lag equal to As you can see now, we have two missing values here. Let's check why. So I print again the S object. Now we are computing with the two periods before. So this means that for the second index, for 13, we cannot compute the percentage change because we don't have the value two periods before. So for these two values, we replace uh, with now with missing values. So we're computing 14 and 10, 11, 13, 15, 14, this one. Let's run. And as you can see here, the value are the same. Now let's do with lag equal 3. As you can see, we have three missing values. And these are the percentage change. Now, naturally, we can compute for 11 and 15 because. 11 we compute with 10 so three periods before and uh, for 15 three periods before before is 13. let's compute with like equal four and as you can see now we have four missing values and we just computed for 15 and 10 because one two three and four so we're computing between uh, 15 and 10 only so that's it i hope this video is useful if you enjoyed this video see you in the next one